but but, but, but why am me why am i not in the inner circle going on that paintball trip with you that's the question because there's <laughs> Berkeley I'm is, the most athletic one in this family. What you are you talking about? You do anything, though. <laughs> okay, one thing that I want to say about getting older. She just called really, herself the most athletic one in this family. Nobody's gonna say anything because it's such a ridiculous like, nobody, statement. We don't need to say guys, anything. I'm gonna be honest. I've seen mom run for things, and she can run like yeah. she can run. Like when you when you crash the ATV. Namaste, Auntie Zarna here. So excited to have you for another episode of the Zarna Garg Family Podcast. Today, we're going to talk about how we celebrate our birthdays. What are the trends? What are the things we like? What are the things we don't like? And it's become a little complicated to celebrate birthdays in the time when you're sending somebody an Insta shout out, a Facebook shout out. There is a WhatsApp message group. There's so much happening. Let's get right into it. Today in our podcast, all hands are on deck. All five of us are in. My daughter Zoya, who is a junior in college, my son uh, Bridge, who is a senior in high school, just got accepted to Cornell University. Woo! My uh, little one, my twelve-year-old, my sixth grader Veer, who is uh, yeah, I, I hope focus on the podcast right now. And finally, my husband Shalab. A finance professional, 25 years. We've lived in New York City, and we are going to talk about how we celebrate birthdays and things we like and we don't like, and things that have become complicated because we're all all over the place. And even when we're in the same house, sometimes it feels like so much uh, confusion and commotion now because there's so many different places where happy birthday messages are going up and down and what is real and what is not real anymore so let's get right into it what i don't get what you mean by that like i had a birthday recently right and Yay, i got birthday thank Woo! you birthday. thank you and a lot of my friends on their birthdays like to post and repost each other's birthday messages yes and i now after all these years of doing it i kind of don't like to repost it i run a business instagram account i can't be having a lot of stuff on my feed about personal stuff and now my friends get upset that they posted a birthday post for me but then i didn't repost it Right. But I did talk to them and they did text me and we are going to have dinner celebrating my birthday together. I feel like it's a lot. Like I I don't need, you know, I didn't grow up in a world where we celebrated birthdays this much. Like people just said happy birthday. You maybe got one present from your parents and like maybe somebody sang a uh, happy birthday in school and you But had Zarna, it. Zarna, Zarna. This year, your birthday celebration. Oh, it was out of this world. God. Actually, out of this world. I mean, at your birthday celebration, Jimmy Fallon sang you "Happy Birthday," right? I mean, that is not a joke. There were celebrities ranging from I don't even know, like it might as well have been Shah Rukh Khan singing "Happy Birthday." To you. <laughs> like, <laughs> short of that, everything else was happening in that place. <laughs> so, and Tina Fey and Amy gave you this amazing, beautiful bag. Which, like, I mean, seriously, if there was ever going to be a birthday celebration, <laughs> this year was insane. Yeah, that this one. Okay, is all word. right. We're not talking about my personal birthday celebration. I mean, right my now. birthday celebration, I have to say, is a little different than rest of humanity because I don't age as much. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like people age a little bit differently than I age. You know, so I feel like. I don't like celebrating because it makes other people feel bad mm -hmm. about their birthdays. So that's sort of like a special thing about my I birthday. I do sometimes. My feel mother told me this as well. Like for 25 years, she's told me this that I don't age, and she's actually right. You know. <laughs> do you feel it's possible that she's a little delusional? Yeah. <laughs> do you think it's possible she has a little truth in what she's been saying? Okay. All right. Well, I will say though, Dad. It seemed they got to a point and where Dad doesn't really look a much older than he did before. Like you look younger than your age, and it doesn't look. Okay, like you've Bridge. Been okay, go ahead. Brown you nose. Why don't you? It's, it's just true. You it's just, just true. Dad, his best birthday it's gift in true. advance of his birthday. Okay, go for it, Bridge. Why anything he looks more? Young. You do look anything young more? Dad. Why don't you go ahead and talk about how Daddy, your grandma, also says speaks the truth? Mom, why why is it go that ahead? when anybody calls yeah. him a dad, you freak out? He's I'm not freaking out. I mean, he's out there thinking he never ages, and you are like, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, that's right, that's he right. Like, young. okay, he okay, 
Okay. All right. He does. I mean, that's the advantage of losing hair at a young age because now you just look the same. Yeah, that's right. a like. good point. <laughs> and, and you do work out a lot all of a sudden, which yeah. we're going to no, no, get no, into. Yeah. We're, we're going to get into that at another episode. But what, do, is, yeah. Yeah, what is the trend with birthday celebrations with you guys and all your friends? Like, I think birthday celebrations for women are really stressful. They are Why? not entirely easy, right? Me and my roommate just threw a uh, conjoined birthday cake celebration. And the two of us were so concerned. Who do we invite? Do we invite just the inner circle? Do we invite all of our friends? If we invite all of our friends, do we need to invite, you know, the friends they're friends with that we kind of are friends with. And then also it's, really confusing because you'll get these birthday notes and these birthday gifts and you don't have your mom to keep track of who gave you a gift who didn't give you a gift who you need to write a thank you note for who you don't need to write a thank you note for who you i need think to that's buy called adulting for. zoya yeah i'm not good at it if it is adulting i am not good at it and i do think mom you're onto something because when people post to you on your story on your instagram there's almost this implied you need to reciprocate right but then what if you don't want to reciprocate not because you don't love that person but because your social media presence isn't a personal social media presence. And then you look like a bad friend. So it's all just a lot. I agree with you. This yeah. is a very, very women issue. This is one of those things that women are, have issues about, but That's men do not. That's why boys and men cannot be careless, Bridge. That how is does exactly... this have to do with that? I don't know how this has to do with that. But when it comes to like these tr small, Sorry. trivial acknowledgements or whatever that's a very women issue i feel like men i've no one no guy friend has ever been mad at me because i didn't repost what they said for me no mm. guy friend's ever been mad at me because i didn't fully acknowledge his thank you um his happy birthday letter i know no one's ever been mad at me because i haven't been super active in writing my thank you notes i've never wrote a thank you note in my life by the way ever and i'm like that's not maybe that comes later in the line but I think that this, uh, you this actually whole have. Issue. When you were little, I used to make you cry and make you write thank you right, notes. Thank you. Yeah. Entirely I accurate. That. But I, but, I would call that uh, abuse, Zarna. Yeah, that was just more abuse. It's abuse. He has to learn. I, I mean, people would give him would beautiful sob. gifts. He would sob. He'd be like, "My hand hurts. I've oh, never wrote too. this much in my life." If you would sob, I love it. Zarna, that goes <laughs> under the definition of abuse. You abuse these little boys. Oh, okay, my. all right. So I taught them to be good human beings. Huh? Birthdays with you is impossible. What do you mean? Like, no, you know what it is? I let think, him finish, Bridge. What, okay. did you, what did you mean by that? I'll throw a simple birthday party, just going to the park with my inner circle, just my close friends. I don't want to do anything crazy. And then you'll be, be like, Veer, why don't you invite everybody from your school and your teachers? <laughs> it's, I don't yeah, want to do I know. that. Yeah. It's so true. I said, we'll have a big dinner. I and I mean, we are all, but am I, I not in I your inner do circle? I don't understand. Birthday. Huh? Just a simple birthday. Yes, yeah, simple, about? simple dinner and and dance party. How many times I offered to do a dance party? Call but a DJ. You know what, guys? You know what? I do think that if mom and even I didn't push as hard for you guys to celebrate your birthdays, you would not feel special, right? Like it's a lot easier for you to just be like, yeah, like I just want to do something casual and just get pizza and whatever. When you're growing older, you will remember how hard mom fought to make your birthday special. And I mean, I grew older and I don't feel that way. I'm pretty sure my boys <laughs> won't either. I disagree with you, Dad. I think that I think that making I think making somebody feel special on their birthdays is something that is really well, important. You didn't grow up with your parents making your birthday special. That's why you don't believe in it. But I did. My siblings went out of their way to make my birthday special. And, and it's okay. We don't have to do it my way. It doesn't have to be. Just do it some way. That's why I'm always begging Bridge and Veer and even Zoya that let's call your friends. It's a nice thing to do to have people over. You can't always be attending other people's stuff and not reciprocating. That is not right. There is, a, there is like a cultural etiquette that goes with it. Like if people invite you, you have to invite them back. I, I mean, that's also something you just like you look forward to going to people's homes. They need to have something to look forward to, to be I part of your world. But I look forward to going to people's homes. Okay, <laughs> shut, you know, you oh just shut God. up. Like, seriously, I don't know. I don't want to say it, but literally he must have been raised by wolves. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, I, did, I just didn't. so out of pocket. <laughs> because. But it's like nothing. He just doesn't understand that you have to be part of each other. Do you know that one time, a few so months I ago... I like coming back 
to our own home that you built. Me too. Listen, don't try to turn this into a romantic moment because it's not. <laughs> He's trying really hard to turn it into like, oh, so everybody listening goes, oh, but he loves his home. Like, okay, there are times when you have to be a citizen of the world and do the things that people have to do. Like literally a few months ago, somebody asked us, um, about weddings and attending weddings and your dad's like I hate attending weddings I've never oh attended any God. wedding and then he goes okay wait I have attended my brother's wedding <laughs> that's it that's it that's all he li- like yeah. no that's not fair Zara. I attended all your nephews and nieces wedding yes. and enjoyed them yes and and for that reason when our kids get married we will have to do something so they have something to look forward to and attend our things. That is how society functions. That is how well, we is bring... Is it close, Zoya? Zoya, is there something <clears throat> I don't know about? No, oh, we will I find. am not getting married. I'm going to find somebody. Head. I will be raising Bridge and Veer's kids as if they <sighs> are my own. And I will be that aunt that nobody wants around who's always okay, around. We can talk about that in a different episode because there's a lot more to unpack with that. But I just okay. want to say this about birthdays. Yeah. yeah. When you get older and... and I'm 18 now, so I understand the range of what birthdays look like when you're young to old. The yeah. reason why birthdays matter when you're young is because you're doing stuff that you can never do. Like, let's say when I was younger, we had a Yaga, uh, what is it called? The game where you push the ball at someone's Gaga. Spot. Gaga. Mm-hmm. We had a Gaga party, and I think we did it three years in a row. We had a Gaga party. I never got to do it except for on my birthday, so I did it. It was so fun. But as you get older, all those stuff that you never get to do start becoming available to you because you can leave your house and go to places by yourself with your friends. Go. I live. In, we live in Manhattan. We can go to Brooklyn, to Queens. It doesn't matter. All those stuff that were once restricted and only allowed with a guardian on my birthday – is now available. Let's say tomorrow I want to go play paintball. I can go call a few friends who wants to come with me and go play paintball. So for me, at birthdays, when you get older, are just like, if you, you know whatever what? you want to do, just do. I yeah, want, but I but why am me? Why am I not in the inner circle going on that paintball trip with you? That's the question. Because there's. <laughs> birthdays, I'm the most athletic one in this family. What you are you talking about? Do anything <laughs> though. <laughs> okay. One thing that I want to say about getting older... She just called people, herself the most athletic one in this family. Nobody's going to say anything. Because it's such a ridiculous like nobody, statement. We don't need to say guys, anything. I'm going to be honest. I've seen mom run for things and she can run. Like, yeah. she can run. When, when, you, when you crash the ATV. Oh, when, she, when she is on a mission. <laughs> Thank you. I have seen mom run for things. I'm about to start crying because it's so funny. Because she will get in it. I like literally see her become a son of bull or whatever that amazing runner is. Um, but Usain Bolt. I, Usain Bolt. Sorry, thank you. <laughs> but I think that I think that birthdays. For example, obviously I'm at Stanford. I'm in California. I'm far away from you guys, right? You guys are my everything. I talk about you guys all the time. Bridge has gone so far as to say, Didi, please get a friend because I spend so much time with them when I'm home, right? When I was at home and celebrating birthdays, I was never insecure because I always had you guys making me feel so special. But now that I'm in college, I feel so alone. On my birthdays, yeah. it feels scary to have a I birthday. Mean, it's pretty clear what's going on, Zoya, right? It is no, so clear. dad, it's not. I mean, cool. you need a life partner that will celebrate this birthday. Oh my for God, you. I'm 21. I can't. Can we not? Bridge already vetoed that so topic. If a boyfriend today would be a husband two years from now. Wait, are you officially 21? <laughs> oh my! Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Can I? All right. I, I want to say something. All right, I Zoya, <laughs> you need a romantic life. You need a life. I don't okay. understand how all we right. keep talking about that. Okay, Bridge, talk, talk, talk about the birthday. Talk about the birthday. You're going to be at a tech company, and you know what a tech company will have? A oh lot God. of Indian boys. <laughs> Zarna, can you tell, say something? You say this to this me. This is not what we're talking about okay, on this episode. But she knows that and I agree with that. Bridge, talk about the birthday. Okay. For <laughs> my last birthday, my 18th birthday, I think the actual day of the birthday, first of all, I didn't have any party. I didn't throw a yeah. party. I didn't um, ask for a party. My actual birthday, I'm pretty sure the only person I saw that day was Veer. No. Because... What do you I'm mean? I, sure. I gave you a note that night. Yeah. That because, night you, you left a note, but you weren't here yeah, in the city. Hold on, hold on. Then, uh, yeah. And then mom, it, it, as amazing as it, as it is, she's always working every night. And sometimes usually she leaves at five o'clock and she won't come home until 2 a.m. So I don't really see her. Then dad goes to sleep at eight o'clock. So I see him. <laughs> and so I see him from the hours I come back from school and until eight o'clock. And then 
<laughs> Veer is the only one that stays up with me until 10, and that was pretty much it. But I never <laughs> once thought to myself, oh, this sucks. It's the worst birthday ever. I enjoyed it because I did what I just, I chilled. I didn't worry about anything for a day. I tried not to be stressed out because there's always something to be stressed out about. And that was it. I, that was it. I had so much fun just individually having my birthday. I think this whole like idea of you need to have a birthday party, you need to have friends over, you need to go to someone else's house, you need to do this, you need to do that. It's something that's very, I don't want to get political, so I'm not going to say it, but constraining. It, it is constraining. I agree with you. I think you made a really good point. Yeah. No, this is, you are touching upon a good point also that birthdays often come on working days when, and, and yeah, in my case, I worked so the whole weekend. And that is a problem for Bridges 18th. We were in San Francisco and you were flying back that day. Yeah, I was flying right? back that day. So yeah. we were just like, we said goodbye to each other early in the morning. And then you were flying back with dad and we're, and so it is true that it's not a world where we're just home, all of us together. And that is a sad part of it. Like I would have wanted to be with Bridge on his birthday. I would have wanted to be with Zoya on her birthday. Uh, dad, whatever, he can do whatever he wants. But, but, you know, hopefully the feelings of love that we build during the year, during all the other times, carry over during the times which are actually birthday days, but we all end up working. But that's what Bridge is saying. He's saying yeah. that there's nothing about that particular day that needs to be so monumental to because he already gets that on the other days. And therefore, yeah. when people are working... I know, but it would still be nice to mark it in some way. And that's why I'm always chasing you guys to be like, let's even... Even if it's just a nice dinner with your friends, it's a nice moment to get to know the people in your life a little bit better and to invite them and to include them into our life. But somehow you three kids never have seemed... That's I not mean, true. I Zoya do a lot will for still my do birthday. It. Zoya will I still do, do it. But Bridge and Veer... I, did I, I mean, are you guys... Hold on. I Can I ask a question to Bridge and Veer? Are you guys embarrassed to have your friends hang out with us? No. Wait, wait. Have my friends hang out with you guys? Yeah. I'm not embarrassed by it. I just don't think that it would be as fun if I just hung out with my friends. Because usually when there's parents around, you have to like censor yourself... You have to do a bunch of other stuff. And I think well, what a lot are you saying fun. when we're not around? You know, when we talk about stuff other than just other trivial, other than normal stuff, like let's say we're talking about girls or we're talking about school or something, we have to. You're censor talking ourselves. about girls? What are you saying about girls? Just Ooh. general stuff, but you can't say that around the well, Zona, do you really have to dig like every little detail? <laughs> Like, yeah, I'm trying he's a to grown find out. adult boy, but he has things that he wants to talk about. What's yeah, the big deal? Yeah, but I, I think it would be fun for them to have us around. I, I think that sometimes meeting you guys and hanging hang out with you guys is fun. But again, I'm super busy. Right now. Even right now in my life, I, I, as a senior in high school, going into college, second semester of senior year is supposed to be the easiest year, easiest semester for everyone. You're supposed to do whatever you want, no work, just enjoy the rest of your time in high school. This is one of the most busy, busiest part of my life, though. Self-choosing. It's not like anyone's forcing on me. I chose to work because I want to give some money to you guys before I go to college or help pay for some things. But I don't think that, you know, with all of that time being taken away, I don't think that using the time that I would be with my friends with you guys is the right way to do it. Because I already see you guys so much. I don't want to, when I hang out with my friends, I want to do anything that's not, like just stupid, mindless stuff. I said this before in a different episode. I like, if I'm hanging out with my friends, I want it to be so mindless. I want it to just be like a break from everything, a break from normal life, just <coughs> laughing for 24 hours, doing some oh, stupid stuff, you know, throwing gates into a river or something, something just as what? stupid as that. That is it's so gate. beautiful. What's bridge? a gate? What's a gate? Bridge, we do mindless stuff all the time. Why do you that say that? That is so untrue. How often, that is in, this family, in this family, untrue. how often do we have a conversation that doesn't either lead or start with money? No. <laughs> like, yes. there's, oh. there's no, there's no so conversations times, in our family that don't involve I money. I am gone walking with you and I'm like, Bridge, what should we do for fun today? And then I'll say something and you'll say, oh, should we, should we get you started on your medical path? And I'm like, I'm not becoming a doctor. It <laughs> always leads there. It always leads fun. to doctor. I that don't get it. But that's a fun thing. I told you I will go. Let's go look at some books. Let's go read some things about this. I mean, Bridge, can you tell her how much fun you had with me going to India by myself with my mother's that house? That was the, out of all the vacations I've taken, top three for sure. Oh my God. Did my mom, you my mom, 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 mom
the being sure. mangoes for him and for me. Do you remember that bridge? I can't say anything bad about that. That was such an incredible vacation. The okay. mangoes were incredible. The, the food was incredible. Look at how happy Dad is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He's so cute. Zoya, you were saying something. I think I cut you off before. But no, I mean, time. I just, I think that what's, I think bridge has a much, much more independent personality from the two of you as parents and i do think he spent a lot of time cultivating that and his other interests outside of just what we talk about as a family for example with me my friends genuinely think that there's something wrong with me because mm. i actually do not have the capacity to talk about anything that is mindless i cannot remember the last time i talked about anything that didn't have anything productive if i'm talking about anything i'm talking about a book i'm talking about a podcast i'm talking about a class i'm talking about an essay i read i'm talking about an essay i want to write i'm talking about the podcast we just filmed there is something clinically wrong with that that is not living that's not true. i think that's I because think that's, that's, that's differently you you I get that like from your bad. dad you get that from your dad. I think I get it from you, mom. No. I can't remember the last time you talked about Nathan something. Nathan and I have just... fun conversations <laughs> all the time. We talk about the movies. We talk about games. Did you say who? Hold on. Even the movies. Let's talk about the movies. We just... Okay. Can we talk about the yeah. movie that we just saw? Oh, bridge. I okay. love We just this. saw a Bollywood movie called Animal. If you haven't yes. seen it, you can see it. Everyone in the world has different perspectives on the movie. And it's talking about it. And it's talk. The most important part is that everyone's talking about it, though. Because yeah. it's, it brings so many, so many cultural aspects of India, even a little bit of America, just in, into your lives. So you want to discuss it. See how it affects your li- life, right? And... That's that's a movie. The the first thing that we do when we come out of that movie is talk about the message it has on us instead of and saying what your favorite part of the movie was or, or anything. Or how you feel. Or how, how you, you feel. feel. Feelings are just... Mm. They're in the back. They're in the back of the car. <laughs> in the front of the car is everything else. <laughs> They're not even in the back of the car. They were never in the car to begin with. <laughs> so bad of you guys. Yeah. We had a blast watching Animal. We literally I mean, had a blast. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't go that we, far. I think we <laughs> listened to the songs. We danced to the songs of that. Zoya movie. got to learn how she we? should behave as you. a wife. Bridge what? got to learn how he should behave as a husband. What are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, there's so much learning in that movie. I think we're all getting canceled now. <laughs> okay, great. Zoya got to learn how to behave as a sister. Anyway, here, let's talk about another aspect of happy birthdays and birthday celebrations is birthday gift giving, which is another mm. complicated thing. It's so thing. ridiculous. It's you guys like, already know my perspective on gifts. No, I don't know actually. video that went viral. Which, which <laughs> video? On your IG. I literally saw it while I was on scrolling. On your IG. What, which video are you talking about? Remember then? when I was talking about um, gift giving and... Why it's corrupt? I don't remember. Tell I me. I don't remember. You don't. You don't remember? We did the, the one about holidays. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He did talk about that. I I don't remember. It is just a big business. He talked oh, about. Oh yeah. Oh, it is a big business. Everybody knows that. Mm. But the huh, question huh, is. Huh. I yeah. will say this real quick. I think that the worst gifts in the world are just cash. If you are giving someone a gift of just cash, one hundred one dollars, one hundred three dollars. I'm saying odd numbers because for some reason even numbers are unlucky in India, but. I, those are the worst gifts a gift should be something that has meaning for us what we do as a family we always write letters for each other like that's that's not necessarily a gift just a, a acknowledgement of their i got your mother meaning. a plant he yeah did. but that's good you that's a good that? gift he did. i did, he did. He did. because she loves plants plant? and stuff and i paid full price for it on valentine's day <laughs> I that I yeah, did not I don't know. like. I, was to say. I did not approve that at all, and I was actually upset that he bought it on Valentine's Day. But he, I did get a plant. Yes, that's See, that so sweet. That is a good sweet, gift. Dad. But that I is do, a good gift. I do love the idea of writing notes to each other. It's something we've done for a long time. Do you guys like receiving the notes? Yeah. I love it. 100%. I've got an I keep. I've, I have every note that Veer ever wrote me, that Bridge ever wrote I, me. On. I don't have a single one, but I very much internalize all of it. I thought, Zoya, your note for your mother was fantastic. It was beautiful. I Amazing. have the note that Didi made me on standby. It's literally Aww. on the side of my desk. Aww. Oh, yeah, I have Didi's note right there, too. Oh, that's great. Cool. I guess my notes, if I ever write some, are like in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> and I try to notes, write. My notes have art. No, on but them look at this. Stuff. Look at how much art. She drew me a whole painting. Yeah, okay. You can't see it because of home. And the talent required to write the deep emotional stuff I write means nothing. She just squiggled some lines and you're going to be like, look at this. But it's meaningful. It's not just Aww, squiggling, squiggling some lines. She's doing it because she knows so that it appeals severe. 
Yeah. Anyway, I drew so, for you too, Bridge. I drew for both of you. Yeah, I just I drew different. You drew things. football ones. I we used to I know, put. I drew for your research. Do you purposes. remember we used to put welcome back notes on the door for Dad when he used to we travel? We still do that. And mm. our our, no, our, our neighbor our neighbor reported us to the building uh, board and said these people post notes for each other and this is defacing our lobby. Yes. I couldn't believe they were such horrible neighbors and I hope they're yeah, watching we this podcast. We still have to live with I I just I know, let's I hope they wa- I hope you're watching my horrible neighbors because that was the most horrible thing you did that we were posting such sweet notes and messages of love for uh for each other when we were traveling and you had to freaking go report that like could you be any no, more horrible like, like, there no, are just some mean, things yeah some things you just say everything stay. has to be turned into yeah. a potato <laughs> Oh, okay. What? For what? Oh, what? Oh, I don't God, get I don't yeah. know how we just got there. Yeah. But I There's agree. There's a certain I sophistication about our building. Oh, okay. And my yeah. kids... You know what? We put a note on the door that says, welcome back. That's it. Yeah, that's it. That's okay, not did not stop there. there was a balloon hanging. There was like all what kinds of... That was in our house, oh, though. God the forbid there's a balloon. Itself. Like, what? God forbid I, this, this sophisticated castle have a drop of joy in it. Now you see what I live with for 25 years? You guys see this? <laughs> yeah, this is, that's ridiculous, Dad. But anyway, this, you know, it's been good to hear from you guys. So it doesn't Insta shout out, Facebook shout out mean anything to you guys on your no. birthday? To me, no. it does. 100%. To you? Yeah. Especially coming from mom's account. That's like a big That's different. Account. I mean from my friends. Yeah. There's a million people then that have oh, oh, you mean, you mean from your friend? Yeah. From your friend. Oh, no. That doesn't mean anything. No. Okay. Like it, it wouldn't break your heart if they didn't say do an Insta shout out for you or something. Again, that's like a girl thing. What would hurt your feelings? Would it hurt your feelings if you had a birthday dinner and your friend didn't show up? No. No. It depends why. But it would hurt my what? feelings if my friend didn't invite me to their birthday party. Right. If they didn't invite me, that would be a different story. I would be mad about that. Yeah? If all my other friends were going and then they didn't invite me. Right. That would be sad, right? I wouldn't really care. But yeah. You wouldn't care, Bridge? I mean, listen, when it comes down to it, I, at this point in my life, I've already experienced all there is to friendship. I'm, I'm just trying to make money. Oh my god! You've what? already experienced all there is to friendship. I, what I, are you talking I, about? I, I'm just, I just these events. I don't believe in them anymore. I think again, I'm not going to get political in this, but there's, I just differ. With get it? Go political, there. Bridge. You would just. No, I am not going to go you political. Can't, you cannot make statements like that and not tell us the full truth. I, I'm going to stay not political. Well, I don't even I think, know what okay. could be political about this. I'm I confused. think it's a very uber liberal thing to do these to take to take every precaution when it comes to birthdays every single event you have to be there for if you're not at at my surprise birthday my half birthday my next birthday when my mom's birthday when's my dog's birthday my dog (laughs) just got a new dog i just got a new everything come everything if you're my friend you have to be there for every single party the same friend group (laughs) will have seven different birthdays and you guys all have to meet up on every single birthday it's a very i mean that's true for you too mom mom it, it, growing up, you probably everyone's had friends. The friend group itself can be l- as large as what two people to a hundred people. Right. Everyone is gonna have a birthday, so every single time there's a birthday, the same people are gonna hang out every single time. No, I agree with you. It's, it's ridiculous. I yeah, think it's, it's just a, a little, it's a little overboard. It's a little overboard for sure, and it is a little like. It, it be, also becomes like if you don't show up, are you even a friend? Exactly. Like that, when did that become a measure of friendship? You know what I mean? Like that shouldn't be a measure of anything. Uh, but but it is nice to be acknowledged and appreciated in some way. And as a parent, I will tell you, I always appreciate it when you guys li- make it easy for me and be like, mom, do this rather than make me chase you guys and be like, can we do this? Can we do this? I don't know what else is going on out there. And because I'm of the two of us, your dad and me, I'm the only one who's usually planning this stuff. It all falls on me. Because as we discussed how your dad has been raised, we will not get into it. Um, (laughs) But birthdays are different. I love birthdays. I love celebrating birthdays. I don't have like, I like, I like my own birthday. I think it's nice. But I feel like a birthday for me, at least now, especially that I'm far away, is an opportunity for me to be really expressive and not be told that it's because I do therapy or because I journal too much that I have too much emotion or something. As in, you get a free pass. Birthdays give you a free pass to be really sincere about somebody. And that sincerity can be often taken as cheesy or just too much or et cetera. And I just think that when it's your birthday, you can just go, you can 
say to the fullest extent what does that person mean to you. And I think that I know, for example, that mom really likes when I write her notes too. So I spent a lot of time writing a note for mom on her birthday. And I, 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 you took it really well, I thought. And I, I didn't even say everything I wanted to say, but I, I tried to say something that I felt like would resonate. And you can't say everything about a person in a note. Like, it's impossible. But Okay, here's a final question on the holiday. Wait, wait, I want to say something yeah. about what Didi just said. Yeah. One yeah. thing about Didi said that I just love is the reflection part of it. And not just with your friends, but every birthday is a point of self-reflection for every single person where yeah. you can reflect on the last year, maybe the couple years prior, and say, going forward, I want to change this. Going forward, I want to keep doing this. Which is why when, I, when you... Mom, it was your birthday, I think yesterday, actually, or two days ago. And the greatest part of your birthday to me was when we went to our breakfast place that we always go to and you said this is my goal going into my next year of my life this is how my life has been so far and my birthday next year when it's my birthday i want this to have changed and what did she say what she wants to change was was i in it you you, you do not have anything to do with her goal (laughs) (laughs) that is a goal that i discussed with bridge specifically yes was there uh, oh yeah, and we sorry. But yes. also, we have a tradition on our birthday. Yeah, we have a family is, tradition. What is it? Which is we all go around. This is a birthday thing that we all. Oh go yeah, around yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, In fact, we that. should do it. We haven't done it for mom yet, and I think we should do it on this episode. Oh, okay. Okay, that's a good idea. Let's uh, do it on this okay. episode. We can maybe end with that instead of good grades with the gargs. Uh, <laughs> no, we're gonna do good grades okay, with them. Okay. Don't try to change my podcast. I'm trying to avoid being graded. But we have a tradition, essentially, every birthday, each one of us says something, and this is actually in line with what Bird said about reflection on birthdays. This is one of the reasons why our birthdays feel very reflective, as we all as a family individually say one reason why we appreciate that person. For a few years, we actually also said one thing that we wished they, we could change about the person, but then it got too aggressive, and I think I got too sensitive, and then we removed that as part of the equation. So now we only do one positive thing and not just one positive and negative thing. Okay. Um, but okay. I think I already know what I want to say about mom. I do too. Okay, who wants to go first? I can I go did, first. Why don't you go first? Okay. I appreciate you, mom, because you take such tremendous shots every single day in such a fearless capacity that it is pushing me to constantly think about the decisions I make every single day and think, what can I do to emulate my mom's fearlessness? For example, I don't know if anybody's seen, but I've been trying to be a lot more active on social media. I am really afraid of social media. In fact, I find it more scary to post online than I do to ask a guy out on a date. Like, that's how wow. petrifying okay. it is for me. And because I've seen how authentic and real you are on the internet, I just constantly have to say to myself, what can I do to be like my mom, who's a mom of three, has lived so much of life already, and is still pushing herself every day to grow? And I think that that, as a daughter, I mean, I couldn't ask for something more motivating in my life, and I'm so appreciative of you for it. Oh. Thank Can you. I go next? Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Thank um, you, Zoya. I, I, you know, not to mention that we just recorded an episode about should you work or be an entrepreneur, but this kind of goes back to it that the fact that you have two different, completely different role models in your life, one who built a very corporate career and one who's a complete manic entrepreneur, hopefully you guys make your own best choices out of that. So thank you. Okay, Veer. Okay. Um, my thing that I'm going to say about you is that you promote such like a smart way of living that's changed all of our lives. For example, the smartest thing I think you've ever said to me in my whole life was that the way you live should not be trying to save every penny you can save, but you should always be trying to raise the top line. How much you make should always be the goal that you're trying to get up. It's not how much you should be saving. That's I going. mean, Brie, to be fair, just, I said that to you. Just let him speak. 25 let years him ago. speak. Dad, let him <laughs> she speak. He stole my line. Stop. Virgo. Virgo. Um, you said the day that... Dad, do you care if I said what happened to us a few years ago? No, no, no. Yeah. Please go ahead. I don't um, care. The day that Dad lost his job, you were 
talking about how we're going to triumph through the times that we had, um, you said we should always be trying to raise how much money we make, not how much money we save, because you want to be able to live comfortably, um, not trying to save everything. Right. Um, and I just thought that was so powerful. First of all, it is your dad's idea. So to give credit where it's due, one good idea came out of him 25 <laughs> years ago. And this was it. Because your mother was negotiating a salary with an employer at the time. Yeah. When I was negotiating my first salary and I was really scared and I was about to lowball myself and, and offer myself for a low price, your dad said to me, he's like, you have to ask for the most money you think you're worth because no one's ever going to just give it to you. You have to make your case for it and fight to make this thing bigger and bigger. And now in the last three, four years or two, three years, that the situation in our family has changed a little bit. I would actually like to take this opportunity to remind your dad that it's not about the bottom line. It is about the top line and about growing that pizza pie bigger and bigger. And that I can't believe that we little we remembered this. Yeah, I can believe it. But it is something that we have always strived for in our family that we don't penny pinch in that traditional way. Like we pay for the things that we like. We pay for a good life. And we work really hard to build that good life and make it better and better. So I, I really am blown away that we remembers this. And thank I you for really that. Am too. Yeah. And thank it you. was your dad's idea 25 years ago, which now I have put into execution mode <laughs> and actually I'm living off of. So before he goes off, you know what I mean? So he is right. But, but hopefully I'm executing it well to your dad's satisfaction. Okay, Bridge, you want to go next? Yeah. Okay, first of all, I think that I owe you the biggest thank you out of all the siblings this year, specifically for many different reasons. One, the college process. I, I think that I think that how much you did in a co co correspondence with me was so much. It's unvaluable. I owe you not enough. There's not enough thank yous in the world I could give you for how much you helped me with this college process. One. Then two, I think that you, to me, are the most emotionally and intellectually adept person I've ever met in my life. No matter what I say to you, no matter how upset I am, no matter how confident I am, no matter what's going on in my life, you always, always have an answer. No matter what the question is, you always have an answer to the question. The question can be about anything, something that you've never even thought about, but you always have an answer. And it's not just impressive, it's beyond helpful. It's so important to me because knowing that I have someone in my life that's, you're basically chat GPT in real life, <laughs> but with better advice. So knowing that I have someone like that, it's just, it's just such an incredible feeling and like emotional stability for me because I know that no matter what, I'm going to have someone in my corner giving me good advice, helping me do this, telling me if, what I should and shouldn't do. And not, not we're never always going to agree because we're humans, but just having someone to have such insightful thought as you, it's just an incredible feeling. And I, like, thank you. I'm very um, thankful for that. Bridge, you're so very sweet. Nice. And very I... Sweet. I, you know, a lot of humans do agree. Just, just to say, <laughs> like disagreement doesn't have to be a part of life. Like many, many humans do also agree all the time. And in your and my case, we do agree a lot, but then you feel pressure from your sister and your brother and your dad to openly disagree with me. And that happens too. So, but I do appreciate it. And I didn't do anything that every other mother is not out there doing just so you know. We're all out there fighting for our kids. We're all out there fighting for a better future for each one of our kids. Uh, we did it for Zoya. We did it for you. And we will do it for Veer. So there was nothing done there. But, but I appreciate the acknowledgement. Thank you. Are, Are you crying? Done? That leaves me, lastly. Yeah. So I'll keep it light. So I really like how sexy your mother looks on stage when she opens and goes, Namaste, New York! <laughs> uh, okay that you was a what? great one I like that I, one I, like, I, I just okay you know this has been a riveting episode <laughs> of happy birthdays and how we celebrate birthdays and whether we celebrate birthdays or not and do we write notes to each other and do we do we send each other flowers and 
This has been very, very riveting. We want to hear your thoughts of how you celebrate birthdays in your oh family. And as we end every episode with a, with a, with a segment called Good Grades with Gargs, we will now take, go on to Good Grades with Gargs, where each one of us assigns an A grade to another person in the episode. And um, the objective is to see who they think delivered that winning punch in this episode and we want to hear from you who you think gave you the most entertainment education or awareness in this episode who do you assign your good grade to <coughs> so who wants to go first with good grades i'm ready okay so yeah go first okay i would like to give my a grade to both Veer and Bridge again, but I have very specific reasons. I have very specific reasons. Can you <laughs> Every just, episode, mom, you do the same mom, thing. But mom, can you let me? Like, okay. No, I've given it to dad a bunch of times. I just oh, don't give it okay. to you because Thank I know you. you're going to give it to yourself. So you're already going to give get an A. Okay. I've given it to dad a bunch of times. Okay, so the reason why I wanted to give it to Veer was I loved that before Veer even started talking about a memory that had left such an impact on him. He said, dad, is it okay if I share this story from three, four years yeah, ago? Yeah, very, very The talkful. amount of emotional maturity at, as a 12 year old to know, let me ask my dad if I can share this vulnerable moment in our family that has to do with him before I share it with the world. Like, I just can't even comprehend having that emotional maturity as a 12. I like, you're not 12. You're literally 80. Like, I just don't <laughs> understand. And then Bridge, what I loved about Bridge's reason for what he appreciates about you, mom, and I think it's something that we've all touched on, is that you are so steady for all of us, which allows all of us to take shots, right? Like, Veer, in that moment when we could have been nervous and scared, wasn't because you knew the right thing to say to put him at ease and get us moving again. And I think that the two of them, and Dad's comment was obviously really amazing and funny and cute, but yeah. I think the boys did a really good job of describing how solid you stay so the rest of us can fly. And I think that's amazing. Thank you. Okay, who wants to go next? I'll go next. Okay, Veer. Um, I think the A grade should go to DV. Oh. Because. Okay. All right. On the topic of birthdays, every year, even though she's not home for my exact birthday, she always does what she can to make my birthday feel special and make me feel like I'm, I'm, like I'm on top of the world on my birthday. Um, like, Last year, she took me clothes shopping. She took me all the way on the train, all the way down to Soho, and we went to 80 different shops. And she let me spend as much as I wanted, and she bought me, like, this jacket that I've been wearing, like, the whole of winter. And she helped me bake. And I just think that's something that I'm going to remember for a really long time. Awesome. I love that. Thank you. Thank Bridge you. or Dad? Shalab, who wants to go? Uh, Dad, you want to go? I'm still thinking. Oh, okay. Uh, my good grade this time has to go to Veer. I mean, for remembering as a little boy, you know, such a unique thing that, and it's so true that we have used that line with each other. Zerna and I have used that line with each other like a million times over 25 years. Whenever we're feeling financial stress, that, okay, we can cut this cost. We can order a little meal. But you know, and I know that that will run out. We have to grow the top line. And for him to remember that um, was incredible. Well done, Veer. Thank you. Bridge? I think that my... <clears throat> I swear grade... to God, if you give it to Veer or Zoya... Veer, Veer earned it this episode. The blackmail is crazy. I think yeah, that the Veer, blackmail is crazy. I think that Veer did really well. But I think my A grade for this one is going to go to Mom. I think that Mom, about this whole birthday thing, for 20 plus years, managed all three of our birthdays. Um... Every year she pushes us, even though sometimes we don't want to, or maybe we say we don't want to, but we actually do, and she sees through it. But no matter what, I think that mom's always been there to help us with our birthdays. And I think that her, I, again, going with what I said about thanking you for everything, 100%, this goes with it. I think this A grade should go package in with all of that. And I want to give a special shout out to Dadi, my grandma, because she's oh, made so yeah. many... She's made so many of my birthdays fantastic with just the messages she sends. She threw a party for me when I was born. And I know that you guys think that I'm joking, but I seriously think that she deserves a shout out. But I think you get the A grade. 
the party wow. that she threw when you were born and did not throw when zoya was born just to say that was <laughs> but okay these are your feelings and we will respect that for the record <laughs> and my a grade today will go to shalab your dad Aww. because when we are asked is it okay to tell the story he could have very easily said no i don't want to talk about it he has been so honest and open about his own life journey and all the downs the hits that he's taken recently that so few brown men yeah openly acknowledge that they're so loud and proud when they win and everybody wants to pretend that they take no losses and the fact that your dad has never stood in the way of us talking about it including today deserves the highest praise and mention and uh and we will as we have continue to fight to grow the top line because that is what we believe in as a family so we want to hear now from you the listeners and viewers what you believe in as a family who you give an a grade to how you celebrate your birthdays what are the trends you you're seeing in your families <laughs> yes and yes we thank you thank you so much for tuning in to the zarna garg family podcast send us your thoughts send us your ideas send us topics that you want us to talk about put them in the comment section and we i read all of them just so you know i read all of them thank you so much for uh, logging in and see you again next time